So let's start the lap here now. Um, so the special, the special thing here is, especially if you're considering the start. So the wind usually comes from southeast here, so it's coming from the back. And especially if you consider the start, that makes it really difficult into turn one because you just have ultra low grip in a, in a way that you've never had it before into turn one. Plus, here you have zero risk on the runoff areas. So the combination of those two things means everybody just takes ultra high risk into turn one because if you break a little bit late, what happens? You just cut straight on and that's it. And you still rejoin the track afterwards. And that's why like in 2018, we saw so many crashes into turn one. Everybody just went nuts into that, taking high risk with the wind from the behind. So I think start again is going to be massively interesting this year. So here you're coming down the straight, uh, probably you're in eighth gear here in the simulator seventh gear, but that's probably incorrect. And you're breaking around 80, 80 75, 80 meters. And then you got to stay wide for a long time because the corner kind of closes in, which is, it's always the most difficult corners when they like close in late on because you're breaking deep while starting to turn and front inside locking is often a problem. Um, so you can see here, stay, stay out probably a little bit more than I just did there. Um, so stay out, stay out, and then cut in the very end there and get the late, late apex and then stay a little bit left to be able to get a beautiful run into that second part and get a great acceleration down into the next straight. Um, cause the longer the straight, the more important exits are for corners. Cause you're going to be able to make up a lot of time on the straights. Um, cause that speed advantage that you exit the corner with will carry on all the way down the straight. So here you see, you've got a really good run out onto the next straight. Um, now just try and straight line the straight as much as possible, then stay left. And again, at 80 meters, brake quite hard, but then try and release the brake a little bit and try and carry speed through this. But at the same time, it's so important to stay tight because the next corner, again, is crucial because it's a really long one, so you can lose a lot of time there. So it's important to stay super tight. So you can see here, stay tight, tight to the right, like a little bit over half track, and then go for a little bit of later entry again here and just here carry the speed through huh? minimum input on the car and it's just about carrying the speed through because every little braking input or acceleration input takes away grip from the lateral into longitudinal so because the capacity of the car is there's a hundred percent and if you if you have everything if you have your longitudinal lat and if you have your longitudinal forces completely constant so you're just rolling through you can put 100 percent into the lateral carry the most amount of speed then as soon as you take some of that grip away into a braking movement or acceleration you reduce the amount of lateral capacity that you have so if you do 10 percent braking then you only have 90 percent lateral so you have to go slower through the corner um, so it's really important to be super super smooth into such a in such an area just carry the speed through accelerate really smoothly on the accident a little bit and then again brake a little bit harder here and then so important to get a really tight run through here because tight corner, need to hit the apex really tight. See here, just touch that curb a little bit. And then on the exit, try and straight line it for a short amount of time to get the maximum traction. But then so important to get the turn in right for this next part, which in qualifying is flat. So again, I missed the, I missed the apex a little bit there. And it's so important to hit that curb. I must have been drunk or something there. Um, <laughs> I'm a Heineken 00 ambassador. Huh? I don't um, drink alcohol. So, and then here it's easy flat. If you hit that apex, it's easy flat and really carry the speed out and make it as smooth as possible through the section to be able to slingshot back onto the straight there. Again, down the straight, get those upshifts right beautifully. You know, it's so important to, it's so important to hit the exact perfect. If you upshift half a second too early, you lose couple of hundreds down the straight. If you upshift half a second too late, you touch that limiter and straight away you lose a couple of hundreds down the straight, which can make the difference between first place and second place. So that upshift point is so damn crucial to get it absolutely spot on. And drivers like Lewis, they have little sounds, little beeps in their ear f to help them with their upshifts. Um, I didn't have that at all. I was just going on lights. So it really depends driver to driver what tools you use to make your upshifts as perfect as possible around the lap. And the, and the engineers will tune it also. Statistically, on a Friday, you'll look at your upshift points statistically. And if you see that on fifth to sixth gear, for some reason, you're always upshifting slightly earlier and you're losing performance, then they will tweak the sound, the beeps in the air or the lighting system just for that gear. Um, and they'll d delay it a little bit, which will then you're still doing the same thing, but naturally then since they delayed the lights just for that gear, you're going to be shifting ever so slightly later just in that gear. And then statistically, you're going to see how it's just going to be perfectly aligned with all the others. And again, just helps your performance through the lap. Now, how awesome was that inside? Come on. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I didn't know that actually. Okay, there we go. Let's continue. Um, 
Okay, here we go. So now 75 meters again, hit the brakes. And this is quite a difficult one because it's quite a fast entry, but you need to stay tight on the exit and that's crucial. So over braking here just will kill your lap time. So you, yes, you need to go deep, but really don't over brake here and stay tight and stay left on the exit to be, because the next one is the most important to get a really good open run into the quarter to nail the exit because it's a super long straight afterwards. So I went a bit too far to the right here. Probably best to say middle track here and then get a late entry and then just nail that exit. Floor it early, try and straight line it, use as much track as possible and then get a beautiful exit run out there and um, then try and straight line this long, long straight. Again, your upshift points and they absolutely need to nail it. This corner nowadays, because there's so much downforce in the car, this corner is easy flat. So again here, it's just about getting the radius beautifully perfect, not turning in too late, not turning in too early, and just making it as smooth as possible to not scrub any speed, to carry the most possible speed through. Just hit that apex, apex there where the pylon is, and now this corner, so hard. So what you have to do is brake a little bit earlier, because again, as I explained before, you don't want to put too much, waste too much capacity on the longitudinal. You want to have a little bit less stress for the car on the longitudinal and the braking to keep more lateral potential for the car. So brake a bit early, brake smooth, and then just carry that speed in and, 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 and give more capacity to lateral grip. So you're carrying the speed through the corner and just go wide. Quite a tight entry actually, hit the apex, and then you can run it out really wide. So this is not a good example what I did here, I don't know why, um, but you have, to, you have to be quite a lot further out here so really beyond middle of the track and then it's so difficult by this time your tires are raging hot because you had that flat out corner before you had this really high speed entry here so your outside tires are raging hot and this is where you destroy the tires in the race as well and so here to get the to get the steering input right to hit the next apex is so difficult because the tires are in much less grip than usual and so if you turn in where you normally turn in, you'll never, you'll never make it to the apex. So you need to anticipate a little bit because you have less front grip on that tire. So anticipate a little bit and it's all things you have to adapt to. Huh? So more tire temperature here, turn in a bit earlier and then, and then you'll make the apex. So here you can see hitting that apex beautifully here. Probably in the real life can't take as much curb as that. Uh, probably you can just touch the curb rather than going so much on it. But on, this, on the game here, that's the perfect way to do it. And then. Again, on the exit, use as much curb as you can. It really depends on, I think this curb is very bumpy, so you can't use as much again there in real life as on the game, and you just touch it on the exit there. Um, and then this corner, again, so difficult. Like, you got your tires raging hot here, especially the inside tires now, which is where you lock up the front tire. So brake balance to the rear, to the rear a little bit here, to relieve that front inside a little bit. And then just super late entry. So you try and straight line the braking as much as possible, try and run it really deep, and then very, very late, boom, turn in Alonso style, <laughs> no, not, not quite that. And, um, and then hit that apex and again, straight line the exit. Cause again, that straight line afterwards is quite important. You can lose a lot of time. So straight line that exit, use the curb, just touch the curb there. Don't use too much of it cause it's really bumpy on the exit there. <laughs> and then through here, just smooth, stay tight. And the most important here is to stay all the way on the right. Um, before turning and again you can turn in very very late here because it's a super long corner and the apex is very late and you need to stay really tight on the apex because the next hairpin is a crucial one for that time so you turn in very very late here that was a little bit early but anyway fine and then really late apex it's only that last apex that matters huh? really late apex stay completely left straight line the braking that's important try and get it try and straight line the braking here and then just a normal normal hairpin really just touch the apex there try and get a straight line exit hammer the hammer the power down finish the lap and hopefully it was an awesome lap time to get you onto pole position